You look like the vermin-ridden son of a bitch you are. Oh, looky, girls. He's got a two-inch wiener. You ever seen a grown man naked? I know nothing, I see nothing, and I see nothing. Denial is not a long-term strategy. And we have been denying what we have to face. Let's be honest with each other, because today's system is not honest to the workers, and it's not honest to the taxpayers. Welcome to this Reality Report special investigation. I'm Julio Rauseo. I'm speaking today with Wayne Matson via video Skype link in Washington, D.C. Wayne Matson is a Washington, D.C. based investigative journalist. He's a frequent contributor on Russia Today, BBC, CNN, and ABC, just to name a few. 20 years of security experience with the, as a naval officer. He's also worked with the Department of State and the NSA, the National Security Agency. Wayne is also a member of the Society for Professional Journalists and the National Press Club. Wayne Matson, thank you so much for joining us live from D.C. Hi, good to be with you today. Good to be with you, too. Uh, and this special investigation will be dealing with Rahm Emanuel, who's getting set to run for mayor of the city of Chicago. Uh, but Wayne, you came to the city of Chicago in uh, the summer of 2010 during the heat of the Rod Lagojevich trial. What made you come down to Chicago uh, in the midst of the Blago trial? Well, I've been following uh, uh, Governor, ex-Governor Blagojevich, his chief tormentor, Patrick Fitzgerald, for a number of years, ever since Fitzgerald was working in the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Manhattan, specifically on the World Trade Center bombing in 1993. And uh, Fitzgerald, in that case, uh, along with his, his cohort in crime, uh, and I do say crime because evidence of, of that particular crime was covered up by Fitzgerald and his cohort, who was the U.S. attorney for the uh, uh, Northern District of New Jersey, one guy named Michael Chertoff, who, who came back to haunt us again. Um, but it was very clear that in 1993, critical evidence was suppressed by uh, Fitzgerald and Chertoff, evidence that would have led uh, to the government of Sudan, which at the time was harboring a guy named Osama bin Laden. Uh, but the problem was to pin 93 World Trade Center bombing on bin Laden would have been to implicate the CIA because up until 1995, bin Laden was still on the payroll of the CIA and Britain's MI6. So we have in Fitzgerald somebody who's very much wired in with the intelligence community who's done their bidding for a number of years who is not a clean prosecutor he's extremely dirty he's not Elliot Ness he's more like Al Capone well that fits right into Chicago and you mentioned in your May 19th article on WayneMatsonReport.com just about you coming into uh, Chicago and you also mentioned that Obama President Barack Obama and Rahm Emanuel along with Patrick Fitzgerald, had a pro quo agreement. Can you discuss about that agreement? Well, it's, it's very obvious that uh, Fitzgerald is carrying the water for Obama and uh, Manuel. The whole takedown of Rod Blagojevich had to do with eliminating a potential bothersome witness to the uh, to the to the rise of Obama and also of Emmanuel in uh, Illinois politics, especially Obama, who became president of the United States from basically a career uh, as an Illinois state senator, a career of relative obscurity, but a career nevertheless that seemed to uh, show that Obama had friends in high places. Uh, after all, from 2002 when he was defeated uh, in the primary by Congressman Bobby Rush, uh, Obama had this uh, mercurial rise in, 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 in national politics uh, from the time he defeated uh, his opponent in the uh, race for the U.S. Senate in 2004 to uh, the, the meltdown of uh, uh, Jack Ryan, the uh, Republican candidate for Senate, 
uh, over a, over a released uh, divorce papers that were supposedly sealed about a very messy divorce uh, to uh, the White House. Um, we see in Obama somebody who's, um, who's risen uh, along with uh, people like Emmanuel. Uh, and uh, I think the, the reason for that is, is that there's been protection uh, of Obama and Emmanuel by people like Patrick Fitzgerald, who, after all, uh, we have to look at his own background. His father was a doorman for the wealthy elite in, in the upper uh, east side of Manhattan, and his son, Patrick Fitzgerald, continues to be not only a doorman, but a doormat for these same vested interests. Now, there were 500 hours of wiretap phone conversations between Rob Lagojevich, but somehow not, not all the 500 hours were released. As we continue in our special investigation, we'll figure out some reasons why those uh, uh, wiretaps weren't released. But why do you think, Wayne, Patrick Fitzgerald would team up with Obama and Emmanuel to try to take out Rob Lagojevich? It seems like he is the middleman that knows too much, and they're trying to silence him. Oh, it's absolutely the case. And Fitzgerald, of course, is just nothing more than a uh, he, he, he's a water carrier for the for the elites, uh, for the people that put Obama in power now are, are behind trying to put Emmanuel in uh, as, as mayor of Chicago, possibly with future national ambitions beyond being mayor. Uh, but we look at uh, uh, the 500 hour uh, 500 hours of wiretaps. Uh, it's quite clear that we know that Governor Blagojevich has has a salty uh, way of speaking. Uh, that's not why he was indicted. Uh, if that were a crime, Richard Nixon would have been impeached years before Watergate. Um, but w what this is, what this is, is uh, has to do with selective prosecution, something that Fitzgerald masters in. Uh, we saw it in his indictment of uh, former Governor George Ryan very selective because Ryan commuted those death sentences and cited police and prosecutorial misconduct in Chicago and in, in, in the state of Illinois. And, and, and who was Ryan talking about? He was talking about Fitzgerald's good buddies in the cop shops around the state, including Chicago and the prosecutor's offices. <coughs> These people have a way of getting back at you when you go after their vested interests. So, what we have in, in, in Blagojevich, there's obviously, there were references in some of these phone calls that would have been of great interest to the jury. But, but the judge, Judge James Zagel, who's a very political judge and will be the same judge uh, in the retrial of Blagojevich this spring, when in fact there should be a change of venue, at least a, a change of, of, of the trial judge, but we don't see anything coming down from the Justice Department on that because Eric Holder, the Attorney General, is every bit as much of a political uh, lick spittle for these vested interests as is Patrick Fitzgerald. Um, so uh, any references uh, between, uh, say, uh, uh, Blagojevich and Rahm Emanuel and other of these players uh, uh, about uh, Rahm Emanuel and Barack Obama's extra extracurricular activities which are long standing in Chicago, uh, were, were kept from the jury uh, because, of course, the judge said uh, a lot of this, and of course, Fitzgerald agreed with this and pushed this, that this has not, no bearing on the case. Well, I think the fact that the President of the United States and the guy that hopes to be the next mayor of Chicago were members of the same gay bathhouse in North Chicago are very relevant to the, to, to, to the case against Blagojevich because. Again, this is eliminating somebody who knows way too much to shift the attention off of those who are probably just as, as corrupt, if not more corrupt, than the accusations against Blagojevich, and that's, that's Obama and Emmanuel.